This is my Israeli passport. Here is my Israeli ID. And army exemption card. I didn't serve in the army. Last week, I submitted an application to renounce my Israeli citizenship in the consulate here in Toronto. It wasn't a decision I made lightly. I've been thinking about it for a long time. In fact, from the moment I learned about the real history of the place where I grew up, the history that wasn't taught to us in schools or even talked about while I was living there until last week at the consulate, it's been a really long process that took two decades. Yes, I did it in response to Israel's horrific assault on Gaza, but since this isn't the first time that Israel is bombing Gaza, why now, why this moment? Because the amount of casualties has reached catastrophic proportions and even though we're in a temporary ceasefire or pause or whatever you want to call it right now, it seems like it's not going to end anytime soon. And even Israeli officials are saying that after the pause, they intend to keep bombing for two more months at least. Whether Israel realizes it or not, all this death harms its own people as well. It feels like Israel is playing a game, even right now, the situation right now, using words like winning, trying to one-up the other side as much as possible, even though the context is thousands of dead civilians. Israeli soldiers make mocking TikTok videos on top of the ruins of Palestinian homes in Gaza. Why am I doing this now? Because more than ever, it's clear to me now that in Israel, peace is not the goal and I don't know if it ever was. And when I think back on my childhood and all the times we spent running in and out of the bomb shelter, all the times my parents were worried about us, all the time I spent worrying while putting on a brave face like we were encouraged to, I feel like it's the kind of state that doesn't care about its own people. And I'm not even talking about all the torture, abuse and humiliation inflicted upon Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza or Palestinians with Israeli citizenship that Israel loves to use as some sort of proof that it's not an apartheid state. I'm talking about the way Israel treats its own people. I haven't considered myself an Israeli citizen or even Israeli for so long that I'm actually surprised that it took me this many years to get to this point and I was a little bit embarrassed, but I think I know why it took me so long. Israel spends so much time and money inciting its own people against each other, family members, friends, neighbors. This decision is going to affect my life, my ability to visit the place where I grew up. It's going to affect my relationship with my family, my relationships with the people closest to me, not just there, but here in Canada. I spent the past few weeks crying over witnessing horrific, heartbreaking f death and pain, but also grieving over the possibility that I may lose my relationship with my family. And there are many of us in this position and we don't even live there, but the poison of that incitement is affecting us as well. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want to be part of it. I don't want to be connected to it. I want you to take the time to imagine what has to happen for you to reject a citizenship and a passport. Everything that led to this decision, the process that led to this decision was filled with pain and anger and grief. But this decision is necessary. I'm done.